Before I start the video, I would like to give a massive shout out to my Patreons who have been supporting my channel. If you would like to check out my Patreon and receive early access to some very exciting videos coming soon, then please click the link in the description below. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Nerd Den here once again and in today's video I am going to be going over my Doctor Who San Diego Comic Con panel um, predictions because if you guys missed it, a couple of issues ago in the Doctor Who magazine, Russell T Davis teased that there could be a Doctor Who presence of sorts at the San Diego Comic Con which is one of the biggest Comic Cons in the world. Uh, normally you see stuff like Marvel and Star Wars premiere and stuff there, like early access to trailers casting news etc and it's where all the big blockbusters franchises go to release news and stuff which is pretty cool but doctor who having a presence there it's not entirely unheard of it's had a presence there before with uh, trailers such um for like the end of time uh, twice upon time and i think for series 11 as well so i think that yeah, we could see some big stuff for Doctor Who there this year because obviously there's a big nerdy audience there and Russell in particular would certainly want Doctor Who up on stage similar to what he did with Eurovision. So here are my predictions for what could happen at San Diego Comic Con. So the first one is that we could potentially get the release date. Now, this one is probably the most far-fetched of things that I could see happening. Um, with any of the news because the release date coming in July would certainly be very far-fetched but we could get a release window maybe they'll be like yeah they're all dropping in November but I think we already know that already uh, but I think the next likely thing which is sort of similar to this we could have the format confirmed where there could be like okay it's dropping weekly or it's dropping all at once or you know they're doing something different who knows I, I, I feel like yeah the release stuff might be quite vague we might not get that yet but maybe they could um, confirm plans this early on to get people excited and to know in the calendars of the Doctor Who's back. So it's not entirely unheard of, especially now it's not solely a BBC production either. So we could potentially get the release date very soon. And speaking of the 60th anniversary, because a lot of my predictions are to do with the 60th anniversary specials, Surprise, surprise. Um, the next thing I expect will there'll be new preview images where we might see some new shots of the 14th Doctor, Donna and her family. We might even get official confirmation, even though we know that Bernard Cribbins is in the episode before he passed. We might get some photos of him, which I think would be pretty cool. It would be nice for them to actually acknowledge that he's in the special because they haven't even done that yet. And it would be really cool for that um, to be shown during um, promotional material. I think that would be really cool to see Wilf back in action. And we could even get synopsises for the three specials, or maybe at least for the first one, the Star Beast, which I think would be pretty cool. And then to round off my 60th anniversary segment of the video, which takes up the majority of it, I think we might get some other casting announcements. Now, I don't expect anything too crazy, like, oh, Matt Smith's back? I mean, that would certainly get Jaws dropping if they suddenly announced, yeah, Matt Smith's back in the 60th anniversary, might drop, and then boom. I think that would be pretty cool, but if anything, we might get confirmation that Bonnie Langford and Gemma Redgrave are in the 60th special, since the unit are there, and we know that Mel is in Series 14, and the original rumour states she's going to be back for the 60th, so... Who knows, I think it would be pretty cool regardless of whatever they announce, but getting some casting stuff would be pretty nice. But I don't expect anything too major, but it would work really well, especially on a big stage like San Diego Comic Con. Now, to move on to more exciting stuff, I think we could get an announcement of a Doctor Who spin-off, or more specifically, the announcement of the unit spin-off, which has been practically confirmed at this point and is meant to be going into pre-production very soon. So I think if we get an announcement and some um, first casting stuff, like confirmation of Jem Redgrave, Brian Langford, um, maybe even Eve Marvel's coming back as Gwen Cooper, I think that would be pretty cool. And it would certainly get people, again, talking about the future of Doctor Who and, again, pushing that Disney partnership as well, I think, um, yeah, again, would work uh, in the BBC and uh, Russell's favour. And then the final thing I think we could potentially see is the Christmas special which is going to be Shooting Atwell's 
debut episode. Um, they're only labelling it as a festive special, but I think Christmas is practically confirmed at this point. Russell did say he hopes to get it back for Christmas. So maybe we could get our first HD glimpse of Shooty in action, maybe, um, which I think would be pretty cool. And I know, yeah, he, you're, you're all thinking, oh, this is too spoilerific for the 60th anniversary specials. Just an out-of-context HD photo of um, Shooty in the Christmas special would be pretty cool. Maybe they could drop a poster or something, um, which would be really, really awesome. And maybe even the title, which, again, would get people hyped for the future of the show. But, yeah, that's my predictions for um, San Diego Comic-Con. If it ends up happening, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but I think with Russell wanting to put the show um, to a bigger audience and to give it some love, I think it's appearing at San Diego Comic-Con will be the next step getting Doctor Who to a global audience. But with that being said, thank you very much for tuning into today's video. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe for more nerdy content as we are on the road to 10,000 subscribers, which I would love to reach by the end of the year. But I'll see you all next time. Thank you very much for all the support and goodbye for now.